It's the week of November 2nd, 2021. My name is Angelica. And I am Valentina. Welcome to your Winter's World. Our story take, today takes us, us to the West Coast. Northern California was hit last week by an extremely strong extremely strong storm that knocked trees down and left highways covered with water from record rains. The storm was caused mudslides and areas that were burned in recent wildfires. The two weather patterns came together to the storm and to to cause the storm. Part of the storm was caused by a weather system called an as atmospheric weather. At that's a large wild wild band of wet, wet air coming in from off the Pacific Ocean. The atmospheric river wa was being pushed by a bomb silent that was heading north. Bomb silent is a purchased weather scientist that used used to describe a spinning storm that becomes very strong very quickly, become of a rapid drop in pressure. Bomb cyclones are very simple to regular cyclones or hurricanes, but not as powerful as happened further away from the equator. Although it pressured about 16 inches of water in one day. The city of Bacay announced some exciting news. A couple of weeks ago, a new master plan community called Douglas Ranch will start selling residential lots within the next few months. When co com completed, it will have 100,000 homes and 300,000 residents and 55 million square feet of commercial development, it will take a long time for that to happen. In the West Valley has seen a ton of growth over the last decade and Baikai is considerably at the top of the national list of fastest growing cities. This at addition will make sure that bad guy stays near the top of the list for years to come. All this development will also help to bring in more businesses and service along Sun Valley Parkway. Douglas Ranch will also have direct access, access to the future I-11 freeway that will eventually connect Mexico to Canada and Phoenix to Las Vegas. Love it or hate it, this development are sure to change our area as we know it now. Let's go over to Mr. Bourne with the a weekly update. Morning, winners. Well, this is Mr. Bourne, Principal. Welcome to a brand new week of school. It's great to be working through our fall. This is my favorite quarter of the school year. The weather starts to change. We have Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all those good things that we look forward to and enjoy at school. Also, we are getting deep into our academics and learning. And so I want to celebrate some, some kids today. So all kids are capable of success, no exceptions, and there is a lot of different ways to achieve success, and there's a lot of different talents in our kids. But academic success is one thing that I do like to celebrate, and so the first quarter we had a number of kids on the principal's list, and principal's list is getting all A's in all of your classes, and that's quite an accomplishment. I want to shout out all of the kids who worked really, really hard to get straight A's and your teachers for acknowledging that and working with them. So uh, this week I'm going to be going around to classrooms and honoring those kids who earned principal's list and also honor roll. Honor roll is also a great achievement. That is having a mix of A's and B's. And we have a large number of kids on both of those lists. So principal's list have some certificates we're going to come around and congratulate you on that same thing with honors roll honor roll so 
keep learning, keep doing the great things you're doing. Winter's Well is a wonderful place to learn. And again, all of you are capable of success, no exceptions. Thank you, Mr. Bourne. Here's Miss Williams with the Council and Corner. Hello, Saddle Mountain. This is Mrs. Williams with a message from the Counseling Corner. So this month we are focusing on being thankful. So today I'm going to tell you a couple of things that I am thankful for. Number one, I'm very thankful for tacos. So good. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my work as a counselor. Um, throughout the month, I'm going to keep telling you all the different things that I'm thankful for. And I'm also going to share some of the things that you guys share with me that you're thankful for. So as you see me in the schools, you see me in the halls, tell me some things that you're thankful for. And I'm going to share those right here on the news. So exciting. I'll even say your name. Just saying. All right. So the question for you this month is, what are you thankful for? Looking forward to hear those answers. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Here's Jose with sports. Welcome to sports. My name is Jose. The Arizona Cardinals improved their record of 7-0 and zero win with a win over the Houston Tex Texans last week by a score of 31-5. to five. The Cardinals will play... It's the 49ers in San Francisco this Sunday. The Arizona's Coyotes have struggled to get things going so far this season. They have a record of 0-5-1 to start the season. The Suns started their season with a couple lose, loses and a victory against the Lakers. They are currently in the middle of a five-game home stands before heading out to face the Kings early next week. In the baseball news, the Houston Astros and Aladdin Braves are facing off in the World Series. That started last week. We will update you next week on the results. That is all for today. See you next time in sports news. Thanks, Jose. Here's Sadie with entertainment news. Welcome back to Entertainment News. I am Sadie. Now that Halloween is behind us, it is time to start thinking about the holiday season that is fast approaching. All over Arizona, many of your favorite traditions are back. Many, after taking last year off or modifying their events due to COVID, this week marks the start of zoo lights at the Phoenix Zoo. You can also check out the Phoenix Electric Light Parade in downtown Phoenix on December 4th. This, this this event draws more than 100,000 people each year and is always a family favorite. Also on December 4th is the Phoenix Children's Museum Snow Much Fun Day. This event brings in 20 tons of snow and kids get to play in it all day or until it melts away. It is free with museum admission. See you next time on Tuesday. See you next Tuesday on Entertainment News. Thanks, Sadie. Now let's go with Destiny and Liana on Joke of the Week. Hello and welcome to Joke of the Week. My name is Liana. And I am Destiny. So, Destiny, what is your joke? What did one traffic light say to the other? I don't know. What did one traffic light say to the other? Stop looking. I'm changing. Great joke, Destiny. If you have a joke and would like to tell it on the news, please go to smusd.me slash be on the news, and we would love to have you on. See you next time. Thanks, on girls. Here's Staten with Fun Fact Trivia. Hi, welcome to Fun Fact Trivia. My name is Tatum. This topic today is on Halloween. On October 31st, you know what what it is. It is Halloween. Halloween is the most popular fest festival. Halloween has pumpkins, lanterns, fancy dress costumes, parties, and lots of fun things. Your question today is, how many pounds of pumpkins are sold each year in the U.S.? A, 1.5 billion. B, 2 
3.3 billion, C, 4.1 billion now. You have 10 seconds to make your decision. If you said A, 1.5 billion pounds, you are correct. See you next time on Fun Fact Trivia. Thanks, Tana. Let's go with Melanie and Liana in This Week in History. Welcome to This Week in History. My name is Melanie. And I am Liana. This week, November 2nd, 2000, the first residential crew arrived aboard the International Space Station. The arrival of Expedition 1 marked the beginning of a new era of international cooperation in space and the longest continuous human habitation in low Earth orbit, which continues to this, to this day. The space agencies of the United States, Russia, Canada, Japan, and Europe agreed to cooperate on the ISS in 1998, and its first components were launched into orbit later that year. Five space shuttle flights and two unmanned Russia flights delivered many of its core components and partly assembled the space station the next year. Discovery brought three new residents to re relieve Expedition 1. Since then, humans have continuously resided on the ISS with plans to continue on until at least 2030. 236 people from 18 countries have visited the station. That is all for this week in history. Thanks girls, here's Science Time with Abby and Cora. <laughs> Welcome to Science Time, my name is Abby. And my name is Cora. A turtle-like being cared for at the Birdsea Cape Wildlife Center in Barnstable, Massachusetts gave workers a big surprise when it hatched. The turtle that came out had two heads and six legs. It also had two spines and each head has its own system for eating and breathing. The twins are healthy and growing and can swim together underwater, coming up when one of them needs air. The center won't release the turtle since it's unlikely to survive in the wild. Instead, they raise the turtle and keep studying it to learn more. The turtle is diamondback terrapin, which is threatened in Massachusetts. The egg was rescued from a nest that was in a dangerous spot. The twins are called Mary Kate and Ashley. See you next time with more Science Time. Thanks, uh, girls. Now let's go back to Abigail with cool student hidden talent. Welcome to cool student hidden talent. I am Abigail, and today we have Nathan, a fifth grader. Hello. So, Nathan, what is your hidden talent? I can bend my arm in weird ways. That sounds cool. Let's see it. Wow, Nathan, when did you learn you could do that? In kindergarten. If you have a talent and you want to show it on the news, go to smusd.me slash be on the news. See you next time on Cool Student Hidden Talents. Thanks, Abigail. Here's Destiny with Word of the Week. Welcome to Word of the Week. My name is Destiny. Mm. This week's word is mirage. It is a noun and it means to optic effect or illusion, usually usually seen over waters or hot pavement due to bending lights. Here's how you could use it in a sentence. What the shipwrecked crew saw was a, a ship the on the horizon turned out to be a mirage. See you next time on Word of the Week. Thank you, Destiny. That is all for this episode of Winners Well News. See you next week. Bye. Bye.